big ass box. Exactly. Yeah, I'm good. Knock out the door for a sec there. Like a kid over in that Christmas present. I was like, get everything out of the way! I'm unboxing! Oh my god, it's metal and holy fuck is it ice cold! Oh, I see. <laughs> it's just falling apart to this point. Um, well, it's pretty hard, but I know there's a break-in period as well as it being cold, so obviously it's not going to be super plush or anything yet. It also needs to, uh, it needs to keep some of that stiffness or else it's just your butt's going to go straight to whatever they use for the bottom, which is actually apparently nothing, which is actually probably better except for this. That's your tilt, your mechanism, wheels, and that's it. That's a lot of garbage. I am a professional mono. Those are smooth. It's cold, so it's not very uh, responsive, but yeah, that is smooth. But how can I know you if I'm not drooling at your food? Like, I thought these would serve some kind of purpose, but they literally just kind of like, that backwards? It is supposed to go, I was, I was totally going to do that backwards. Why they don't just come on there, that's beyond me, but, whatever. Dylan, come on, break the camera. <laughs> Not really. With these clips standing up, this side's got a little tab on it. Still can't see that for shit, whatever. Tab goes on the inside. Clips go on the outside. Yeah, I don't know. I hate when it just sits like that. For a second, I was like, wait, did this not come with any hardware? Because I see a bunch of hardware here. But it's already pre-installed into the back of the chair. Don't wanna. That work. Oh. 
Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna be like geeking out about shit on this for like the next week. Be like, oh, I didn't know I could do that. I didn't know I could do that. I didn't know. I could. Fucking better have some cool goddamn features. Man, that is a sweet mechanism in my safe. Round. It didn't. Didn't quite sink in that there were like a bunch of spots that you could just set it and forget it. There's only one way it can go on, so I was doing it right. It's just kind of very tight. <laughs> like, to the point, it was like, I really don't want to break this thing. But no, that's just. See, that's that one, huh? <laughs> it's like, I need to put enough force into it, but not too much to actually break the fucking thing. There it goes. that was a thing but didn't know that there was actual press buttons there interesting There's height adjust so these clips come through the back here Through. And these ones go up through the top. And you just kind of clip them. That way, you can move that fucker wherever you want. That's nice. I didn't. I was kind of like, this is dumb. I don't get this design. Now I understand. So with that thing, you're supposed to like kind of take it, stretch it over the center post, and then like clip it together with this weird little thing. So stretching it over that little middle post, and then in that one, it's like clipping it. Yeah, it's strange. What did that say? There's that. So is these going, oh, well, there's side to side, like that, so it's got side to side, pivot, it has a, it's up and down, it shows it moving back and forth too, like forward and backward. Oh, no, it's that same button. This does pivot and forward and backwards. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Um, it's a little stiff at the moment. That's why I was saying there's kind of not much I can really give for like a an actual thought. I like the lumbar sport thing. Also this if it was a little more up behind my head and not so much right in I mean I guess it yeah it supports your neck and everything but cuz this up here stops your head so um I certainly have a worse chair. It goes up really high. Like my feet, my feet are just dangling. <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing. Right, lean back. Oh my god. <laughs> well, 
It leans back pretty far. Oh. That lumbar support thing actually feels really good. This is my other chair. Kind of a major upgrade. Oh wait, it's got, I got a strap in. I know this is, oh, no, no, I'm ready. No, I'm ready to game now that I'm fucking glued to my chair. So my initial thoughts are, it seems fairly high quality. Uh, we'll see how the leather holds up over time. The bottom cushion's really firm, but I've, I've heard that it takes about a week for it to break in, so I'll give it a week and then get my thoughts on that. The back and neck cushions seem really nice. The base is metal with some weird gamer plastic insert things, whatever, it's fine. The cylinder just kind of sits in the base, which always made me nervous that it might wobble, but it doesn't. The bottom mechanism is quite strange in design to me, though the rocker on the left side is an excellent thing to have if you plan on reclining. Uh, speaking of which, the reclining feels really good. I didn't feel like I was going to tip over. Uh, granted, I don't weigh a whole hell of a lot. So I'll give it about a week and see what my final thoughts are. So after the first week, uh, my thoughts are mostly positive. My main complaint is just the fact that it's leather. The seat cushion did give quite a bit and it has become quite a bit softer. Uh, usually I didn't have an issue with leather, but for whatever reason, ass sweat became a huge issue, and I ended up tying a shirt around the bottom part, acting as a seat cover. Once that was done, the issue mostly disappeared. There again, that's just, uh, it's leather. So that aside, uh, I'll give the overall comfort of the chair probably an 8 out of 10. The lumbar and neck pillows are both great firm but not enough to be irritating the neck pillow being adjustable would be a much welcome feature as for the build quality in general i'd actually probably say a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, everything f feels solid for the most part but the right armrest when adjusted to its maximum right movement still touches the back of the seat while the left one still has about a half centimeter gap both the armrests are all the way back and all the way out so, I think I got a bent armrest. Reclining's really nice so far, though without the leg rest, I didn't really find myself using it very much, unless my other recliner was being used by a guest or something. The wheels, I'd give a solid 9.5 out of 10. The only reason I didn't go with the 10 was because they still had the issue of things being able to ride up into the wheel itself, causing both frustration and worry if it happens to be a headphone or a power cord it can get mauled by the wheel well or guard, whatever you want to call that. All that said, I'd say the chair was worth the price. Uh, if I ever change my mind down the road, maybe I'll do an update or try out another brand like Secret Lab or something. So at this point, I'd call the review done. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, check out some of my other stuff if you're so inclined. Take care.